Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 554 and the topic today is dating. Is it a numbers game or is it something more? And before I jump into the guts of this conversation, let me introduce myself and tell you more about me so you know why I do this and what these are about. Yeah, <laughs> my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker and relationship attraction expert and help strong successful women create and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which led me to do this talk starting a couple of years ago called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And up to now, this is number 554, so I've done a few of these, and they've been daily for a long time now. And by the way, sidebar, this weekend I have an, I'm at an event, actually, Alison Armstrong's uh, master, Leadership Mastery, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it at 5 p.m. Pacific time, but I will do one every day just to stay on track. Anyway, this is episode number 554, topic today is dating. Is it a numbers game or is it something more? Now, if you've watched my broadcast over the last two years, you know I have a certain point of view, which you'll hear about in this talk as well, so you know my position on this. But let me reiterate for those who haven't seen my broadcast before. In my universe, dating is a precursor to relationship. Like if you're going steady with somebody, that old term from way back in the 80s, you're in a relationship. Dating is that preamble. That's the, um, that's what I'm looking for, introduction to relationship. So basically, I look at dating as being the sorting process in a way because that's as um, I think Alison puts it. I think Alison says this. Alison Armstrong says that dating for men is a sorting system. <clears throat> basically, we're going through life going, are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one? So for some men, not all men, but for some men, dating is a process of going of playing by the numbers hopefully by a period of time you'll find somebody that's a match but you'll go through as many dates as needed to find that person now for women i have a different suggestion but for men that seems to be the way we work because being the hunter type profile which the masculine energy is in men we are definitely driven by this um looking for the target type mentality now i know it sounds crass to say it that way but that's the way we that's the way men generally pursue dates if they're looking for the right fit, the right target, the right person. And it's more than just necessarily, for most men, or for some men, I don't know how proportionally this, for most men, it's not just about, um, well, let, me, let me do it both ways. <laughs> I just sort of split. For a lot of men, it's not about just anybody, it's about somebody, but for a lot of men, it's also about somebody comfortable, or convenient, or great in bed, or that sort of stuff. So, especially, in the, especially the 20, 30 year old, something like that, they're more driven by a desire for physical comfort to a degree from great sex versus someone to grow old with or to live life with or to ex express their legacy with. So I'm just seeing a whole, I'm seeing a whole like um, age stage thing show up, which I don't know if it's accurate or not, but there's definitely a gra gra gradation, that's the right word, a gradation of men as we mature, as we mature through ages, maybe through decades, maybe through certain years, where our criteria for relationship shifts. But it's still based, sorry, it's still executed through a dating sorting process, generally speaking. And even if you're working with a matchmaker or dating apps, you're still sorting through to find one that fits or find 20 that fit and just dating until you find the one that is the best fit. Ladies, let's talk to you for a second. You've been trained to do the same thing because, ladies, you've been, you've been trained through the process of how men date because, let's be honest, the structure of the society and the structure of the dating apps is designed by men for men. So ladies, when you're using those apps, using those systems, you're emulating the same behavior as men, which puts you into the hunting mentality, which is not your natural state. In fact, I would suggest that a lot of, a lot of women out there, besides the whole piece about history repeating itself and, and baggage, baggage stuff and everything you're dragging into relationships, your dating preferences are based upon a sorting system versus on a real criteria. And it's a mistaken approach because the one thing you ladies have an advantage over us men is you can create an embodiment of feeling that can be magnetic for a man you want to be with. I'll say that one again. Maybe a different way. I'm not sure we come out the same way. But ladies, you have this ability to create a feeling of embodiment and it, or embody a feeling that becomes magnetic to attract the man you want. That was pretty close to what I said before. And that is really why I do the work I do. I'm, I'm going to leave a sidebar slightly in a minute. I'm actually going to a link in the comments for those of you ladies who are interested in this, because this is something that you may not realize how to do. So us men, 
we're the hunters. We seek and we, we, we basically are looking for the optimum target, and I'm using that term intentionally, of possibility for match. So a lot of times we're driven visually because that's the first sense that works for us men. Secondarily for us is going to be on a feeling level, but our feelings, as you may know ladies, our feelings aren't that strongly developed for most men. So emotional maturity and emotional mastery is not one of, our, not one of men's strong suits. So when it comes to dating, we're generally driven by sight more than feeling. And we're not going to get into love languages, that's a whole other conversation. So, shifting gears slightly for ladies. The ladies, frankly, you were the other way around, although you've been trained, you've been trained to do the same thing men do. That's why the dating apps, you swipe and look at pictures. That's what the men do. That's why Tinder's is set up the way it is and match all these other things. Pictures first, description second. Some apps have been smarter for working for women when they put the other way around, where you get to know the person before you actually see what they look like. Now for men, generally speaking, this sucks. Because <laughs> we want to see what, what she looks like before we want to find out more about them in some ways, which is unfortunate. But it's the way we've been wired. But ladies, your strength is in the, the sense of connection and trust. Because when you feel, no, it's in another way. When you find a man who you can trust, you can feel his solidity, his groundedness, his presence that you can count on. He's probably a lot more attractive than some guy you meet who's gorgeous, drives a nice car, beautifully tanned, but you can't trust him to do anything. Big difference. Now, visually, he's more appealing, but energetically, he's not. And that's the shift I'm, I think most women will get that this is the way it works. So taking that to the next level, if you want to have an amazing relationship, ladies, your strength, your um, gift is to get clear how it feels, how the relationship you want to be in feels for you. Now, yes, you can go on the apps later on, but before you do that, and this is the thing, and the men can do this too, but we're not as practiced, generally speaking, as the women are. But ladies, when you practice this first, it will transform and improve your dating um, algorithm, <laughs> exploration, and success. Because when you first get clear about what you want, and you can include visually, um, approva visually approvable stimuli, something like that, when you, get, when you get your vision clear that you can see and feel, let's put it that way, simple, and you take that inwardly and you build on it, then you create this magnetic pull for what you want. So when you go on the dating apps or you go to a club or a, a meeting or a social engagement, this is Christmas time, so holiday time, so there are social engagements going on a lot this month, you'll feel more quickly a resonance or a repulsion of what does and doesn't fit. Unfortunately, ladies, you don't use this skill very much because you've copied the men. And to do the visual um, data points first is usually an error in approach. The link I'm going to put in the comments is my Attract the Man You Want program because it's designed to help you ladies attract the man you want. What a concept. And so in that, I've actually, because it's a holiday special, I've got a discount deals, discount, discount deals in it. Sorry, what's it, Jermaine? 23 to 32, usually mostly physical for men. Women surely surely driven more towards intellect, trust, and emotions. At least that's as far you witnessed. I would say yes in, in large places. Now, the age stuff is variable because men don't always mature at the same time, and <laughs> ladies don't either for that matter. Thank you, Jimmy, for that, by the way. And by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm reading out a comment on Facebook Live where it was on first. It'll go onto YouTube later on. So that's why I read the comments back so you know who I'm responding to. So yes, I do agree with that to a degree. Um, but women especially, especially um, and I don't want the age range on this because it's really the, the, um, the out call or the, the expression or the, um, the release of all these dating apps. And so the dating apps have trained both sides of the gender spectrum to have this preference to look at visuals before they get to the feeling. So ladies, just to recap quickly for that end point, I'm going to put the link in the comments. So I invite you to check it out. There's a holiday special on that, um, massively so, which is going to go away soon. So if you're interested in learning how to do the work that gets you what you want by embodiment versus visual attraction, that will help you. Um, so just to go back to the numbers piece, I did have a title about numbers game versus something better. Personally, I'm a big um, proponent. Now I can say this another way. I mean, I am, but I'm, hmm. I'm going to say another way. <laughs> this is like triggering me on this one. As I said at the beginning, my passionate champion of the divine feminine. So, ladies, my passion is supporting you and having what you want. Okay, got that part clear. So, this dating 
um, arena, it, it's, it frustrates me. And so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this desire to want to help make a difference with why I'm creating my program. But I'm sensing so many women are making an error in approach by going out, just swiping, clicking, and perusing based on visual, visual data, which is what men have been trained to do. And the numbers game is what men are driven by because we go through a targeting practice, a, a, a um, sorting system to go through and like we get through enough no's, we'll find the one that says yes. Or if we don't get through enough we don't like, we'll find the one that we like. There's two different things, by the way. We as men are, um, we're driven by a, thank you, you're, you're welcome. I mean, yes, true. It is truth. I mean, I've learned this lesson myself the hard way, and I've been studying with great teachers who show me more information that makes it helpful. That's why I'm going to be this weekend, by the way. Um, I think that's really it. No, let me, let me finish one point that was sitting in there. But thank you, Jermaine. I appreciate the love. This is fundamental. Ladies, when you copy the men, you get results like the men, which means that you're going to attract a um, person, maybe more in the feminine, Oh yeah, I gotta say this part. Ladies, when you copy the men and do the searching method, excuse me, the hunting through the dating apps, you're embodying your masculine. And when you embody your masculine, you're gonna attract feminine partners. Now, if that's what you want, great, go for it. But, and, um, and let me be clear, masculine and feminine is not gender-based, it's energetic polarity. So ladies, if you want to have a masculine man, then you don't want to do masculine practices to get him. I've been through the experience in three relationships where that happened, I was on the wrong end of that, because the women were, being in the masculine and leading the way and I didn't my own responsibility step up and take the lead so ladies if you want to have an amazing relationship with a conscious um, present and a masculine man your power is in your feminine not your masculine which again is why it's talking about attracting what you want and getting a vision and embodiment of what you really want and I think that's my point <laughs> I'm just sitting with him we're going deep on that one I'm actually, to be honest, my, the clock's ticking in my head because I have to be heading out because I have a, it's a holiday party tonight I'm going to and I'm going to get changed and get out there soon. So I'm going to leave that on here and let you ask questions. So again, Facebook Live first. So tr thank you, McCall. That's so true. And, and they wonder why they aren't happy. Yes, that's why I'm here to help. So thank you, McCall. I appreciate the feedback. You're not on the same page on that one. We have differences on other places, but this one we agree on definitely. Um, so again, I'll put the link in the comments to check out my Attract the Man You Want program. Both It's both for, um, there's a self-guided self guided eight module program for women, plus there's an eight module guided program with private coaching as well. Both of them have discounted massively for the holidays. Jump in now because they're gonna go away, which is the price is gonna go back up. Um, and that's it. If you, have and if you have questions about this, please put them in the comments below. I will respond when I sign off. I'll also be talking, if you're on YouTube watching this later, I respond to the comments there as well. So thank you for joining me on this broadcast. This is my daily Facebook Live. Thanks for all the love, Jermaine. I see all the hearts popping up. Um, this is a juicy topic, and this is just, just, just cracking the top of it open. So hopefully it's giving you something to think about. And ladies, I'm here to help. <laughs> um, so thank you for watching uh, replays, by the way. This is my Facebook Live first. It goes onto my YouTube channel, and then it's my podcast. I'll give you the replay links to find it. Facebook Live is, goes onto my business page on Facebook, which is barrysubby.author, so all of the replays are there. If you're watching on YouTube, I have a channel there which is my name, Barry Selby. Please subscribe. And then there's in there's a playlist which is messages from the masculine where all of these are gonna be listed in video format on YouTube, you can watch them there. And thirdly, I'm building up my podcast on iTunes which is also called Messages from the Masculine, which you can subscribe to. And you can download those and listen to them when you're driving around doing other things We can't watch the screen. Um, again, this weekend I'm gonna be at um, Alison Armstrong's event, the, leadership, the Mastery and Leadership Program. So I won't be able to do my broadcast at 5 p.m. I believe, maybe I will, I'm not sure. So basically stay tuned, keep track of me. If you're not already no watching me, notified when I go live. There's somewhere on this video you can do that. Click on that so you can be notified when I go live. I'll definitely be doing broadcast the next two days because I'm sure I'm gonna be having lots of great content I can share from the, from the weekend. So with that, I thank you for watching. Um, replay, links, comments, yes, I'm good to go. I'll see you again tomorrow. And uh, I invite you to take care of yourselves. This is an interesting time of year being the holidays. Dating can be very interesting, so check in with yourself first. That's your homework. And with that, I'll see you again tomorrow. You take care. Bye.